Okay, here's a chart that goes into a little bit more detail on the Medicare supplement plans and how they work. You can see we've highlighted in yellow the only three plans that we sell, Plan F, Plan G, and Plan N. If we were talking to you maybe three, four, or five years ago, we might have actually recommended the Plan F. The Plan F is the best coverage in the sense that it pays for all the deductibles and all the co-payments. However, it has been decided that Plan F is going to be phased out of the marketplace next year. And therefore, there's not a lot of competition for the Plan F, and therefore the premiums are higher than we think they should be. We have actually been recommending the Plan G to our customers for many years. And you can see in the column that says Part B deductible, that's really the only difference between the Plan F and the Plan G. Plan F does pay the Part B deductible for you. Plan G does not. However, they both do pay 100% for stay in the hospital. So in many cases, the value of the Plan G is much better. The monthly premium is much less than the Plan F. And the only difference is the Part B deductible. Now, we also will talk to you about the Plan N. The Plan N does also cover you 100% for stay in the hospital. It does also require you to pay your Part B deductible. The biggest difference in the Plan N, you can see it over to the right here, after your Part B deductible has been paid, if you have additional visits to a doctor and the doctor does send a claim to Medicare that includes a doctor office visit fee, you're going to pay 20% of that fee on a sliding scale, but a maximum of $20. It's like a copayment. So after your deductible has been paid, you're going to have a copayment for doctor visits. The other situation where you might have a small out-of-pocket expense is if you are treated at a hospital emergency room, you're going to pay 20% of that fee up to $50, assuming that you're not admitted to the hospital.